Okay, welcome to the budget camper build. This is our air conditioning unit. This does not work on AC, on house AC, and on both my generators. All we get is a hum out of it, even on just fan. The fan won't even run. So not only do we not have compressor, we do not have fan. So a good thing about them is these things are serviceable. Uh, with minimum knowledge, you can figure it out. So let's go to the roof and fix this thing up. Okay, up to the roof. This thing is stalled out and it looks like, it looks like the fan is probably jammed with crud. It could be the start capacitor too. We're gonna find out here momentarily. Alrighty, this is what we got inside. Yeah, no, fan's free, damn it. And high hopes, crap. Mm. Well, crumbs. It's probably gonna be start cap or winding or connection or something. Uh, I keep playing. All right, we're in. This whole cover just lifts off with a few Phillips screws and everything is super, super free here. Um, no issues, no slop in the bearings. It seems fine, so. It just sits there and hums. So I found a schematic here and it shows the start cap. So I'm guessing that cap is going to be under here. What kind of a goofy setup, eh? Maybe it's down in there. Uh, where's the motor wiring run? No, it's got to be right in here. Motor, run, motor comes from right here. And here. So we should be able to fix that. Let's have a look and see. Uh, maybe there's a mouse chew or something that we can fix. We're a long way from anywhere to get a capacitor right now, but yeah, let's get it apart. All right, we're in. This cap just sort of slides off. And here's our start cap. Um, I gotta be a little careful here because I didn't disconnect anything before I climbed up here and I don't wanna climb back down. So I'm gonna check the schematics. I don't know what this black thing here up front is. Uh, inline fuse maybe? Um, I'm just gonna check things out here, see if there's anything serviceable, but I would say this is probably where our problem lies. Here is our schematic. So we've traced, this is where we came back from, our motor. So this, is an interesting setup and because i had no fan at all i'm guessing um the, no fan or compressor kick in at all so um here's this ptc so um, we could measure that it, it that could be failed that could be our problem um basically that's a inline fuse circuit breaker a positive temperature coefficient um fuse um at least that's what we were taught way back when with, with ptc i'm pretty sure it's positive temperature coefficient when it gets hot it goes open um uh, olp overload protector if used yellow on the yellow and i don't see anything there only the yellow is down below into our junction box coming up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check some more and see if there's anything I can see, but otherwise I think we're gonna have to get a cap. And uh, that's gonna be hard to find. Let's see what I can find. Alrighty, it's a couple weeks later. We've got a run cap here from Amazon. It's not a perfect match. The original is a 45 and a 12 mic. This is a 45 and 5. Um, you shouldn't go down like that. It's uh, unfortunately the only ones I can find in my area. So we're going to try whether the fan will be okay with that. If not, I have another plan. I have another external cap that I can wire up and, and just for the fan side and boost that side up. That shouldn't be a problem, but we'll see. Uh, See if we've got enough terminals here. I think I'm going to have to make one terminal. And uh, yeah, we'll hack it into place and should be okay. 
as long as it fits. All right, this is not pretty at the moment because that cap is not gonna fit. So I'm gonna have to make a custom cover and shield assembly. This is pretty well covered, honestly, for here. Like I'm not moving this trailer, so it'll be fine. But for someone else who is mobile, that this is probably not gonna be what you're gonna want. You're gonna wanna get the correct diameter cap to fit in there. Or maybe maybe you're like me and you'll wanna make something. This this plastic's all gone cheesy anyway, so I'll just uh, I'll either 3D print something or I'll fab it up with some metal and then seal it up with aluminum tape, and that'll be that'll be pretty slick. And then uh, at a later date, I'm gonna get some cleaner and clean out the condenser here. There's a bunch of gooey's in there. Um, it's no problem. You can just hose that down and should be all right. But this should be good enough to, to see if our compressor and our fan will start on their own now. I'm going to give a check over and go down and yeah, we'll give it a go. All right, you guys cross your fingers for me because we're about to find out if we won. So there's the AC unit. Oh, go please. Mode. Cool. Temp. Auto. Holy smokes. It works! It works, it works, it works! It works! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, if it blows cold air, we'll be all set. The Jenny labored a little bit, but not bad. That's okay. Fans running. Are we kicking out air? We sure are. A whole lot of it question is is it cold so we'll give it some time and see these vents just turn counterclockwise to open a little further yep we're good <coughs> oh, excuse me we have icy chili well I don't know is it icy chili that is cold that is most definitely cold I don't have a thermometer here handy, do I? Maybe I do. All right, it is definitely blowing cool. I don't know whether I'd call it cold just yet. We'll give it some time. It's 28 in here now, and I'm just gonna let it run for a bit. All right, back from up and down on the roof a dozen times and a few different kerfuffle messes, but uh, we're coming down in here and this this is not reflective of how cool it feels in here. The humidity is just gone. It, it feels cold. So that is working just wonderfully. I am super happy because this was a key thing in order to get the wife to come up here with the dog. Um, Riggs is an old English sheepdog and he gets a little hot if it's like 30 degrees out so now we can fix that so we're running away it's all my three kilowatt generator can do it is right on the verge of killing snuffing it out it's quit a couple of times so that gen isn't the best but it's working we're there I just got to keep the loads to a minimum and I'm only going to need to cool it off once in a while and I'll be happy I can see the Humidity is down to 41%. That's pretty good considering it's probably close to 80 outside. So wonderful. Cheers, guys. Uh, hope that helps someone. Hope that was a little bit of fun for somebody. And yeah, we'll carry on to the next project. Okay, it's another week later and we're back on the roof. This time with some more goodies arrived. I had to order this from Amazon. Uh, I wanted some coil clean because I've got uh, some goobers up in there you can see on the inside of the condenser actually there's a pretty good amount on the fan here we'll we'll go ahead and get those off as best we can first and just sort of do the best we can here without a garden hose no running water up here other than what the camper provides but we also have some efficiency we can gain here so I ordered um, a coil comb kit because I've just never had one. And we're gonna go ahead and straighten out all these, um, these fins as best we can. You need the air to go through and not be blocked. It's quite simple. And with these bent over like this and like this and like this, we've lost, I don't know, what would that be? Maybe 5% of our surface area. 
So we can get that back easy enough by straightening, the, straightening these coils out and cleaning them up. Um, we might as well have that efficiency and then we'll get that much more with that little from our generator running. So why not, right? So you can, you can just use like a gift card as well to get them pretty close before we run our comb through. The comb's going to have a hard time with any that are really, really distorted. And what you don't want to do is be rough on the coils themselves. That would be universally bad. If we puncture one of those, it is game over. So we're, we're taking a risk by straightening these out at all because you could always, you could always potentially cause a leak, if, especially if you're rough. But I think we can just take our time here, go through them all and do the best we can do here with what we've got to work with. And then we'll use our coil comb. And then we also have this other style. I've never even used one like this. I don't know. Hmm. It seems to be all right. Wow, that actually did a great job. That just straightened it right out. It's a little, it's a little rough though. Particularly these ones that are, like I said, are really quite damaged. So we got to get them as close to straight as possible to be able to comb them. And right now they're kind of all bunched up. If nothing else, if we can get them where the air can flow through, we're better than we were before. Right now they're, they're completely flat to the incoming air and that's just no good. So. I've seen much worse than this, but I think we can, I think we can fix this up. Check that out. This is from the top cover going on and off. People have been a little rough with it. And then if we try our coil comb, maybe we can get one that's, that's the right size right there. And we can try combing up and levering our way through it. And sort of pulling the coils. Not bad. Let's try going down on this one. Not bad. Did I lose track of which one I was on? not perfect but it's a lot better than what it was I gave up up here because this is an impact damage from the cover and I really don't want to go poking at that it's had a hard hit so we'll just leave it alone uh, but we got back a lot of it I'd say we got at least half of our bent fins back maybe maybe a fair bit more this area is pretty good pretty good impact too so I'm just gonna leave him alone but uh, yeah pretty good so then we'll take our coil clean and we're just going to soak this area and get my tools out of here and then we'll hit it. Even though you can't see much for dirt on there, there's plenty on there. And when we get that off, the ability for this to thermal transfer will be significantly higher. See how much shinier it is? The silver's coming out as that layer of goop on there. So that insulates it and that's gonna drop your efficiency. This should, this should really work good now. I, I think we're gonna be in good shape and we can finally button this up and put an end to this project. And, we will have air conditioning for the remainder of this summer.
hope you get out and fix your uh, air conditioning on your RV. It's not hard, anyone can do it. And uh, hope you get to enjoy some beautiful scenery this summer. And this is my little slice of heaven. Cheers, guys. <laughs>